Okay, hi guys. I'm starting this YouTube channel mostly for friends and family, but if you're not a friend or family, that's that's fine too. So, I'm hoping I can figure out how to upload this video and everything will go well. So, I wanted to just talk about things. Now, if you've ever read the Phantom Tollbooth, there's this character in the Phantom Tollbooth. It's, the Phantom Tollbooth is about this little boy that, that gets a car and goes to this imaginary land. He drives his little car through this imaginary land full of these strange creatures and different people and there's this one boy he meets they can see everything behind things but can't see what's right in front of his nose so i want to i want to talk about things that maybe maybe you don't think about at first but they're there and I also want to see right in front of my nose and I thank God and and just the, sometimes he helps me and sometimes he puts people in my life so I can when I don't see in front of my nose I can see what's there and not get into too big of a trouble. But a lot of times, I do feel like that character. So, I don't know. A lot of times, we can just be afraid of, of things in our life that, that we haven't dealt with. And we can just not deal with it and not deal with it. And it can make it worse. Like, when I was doing laundry the other day, just moved and new washer, and I'm like, oh, I can just throw all my clothes in, and I threw them all in, and I came back an hour later, and it's going, rrr, 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 and making these huge noise, and I'm like, oh no, something's wrong, I broke the washer, and I just kept pressing buttons, and 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 doing stuff and it kept making the same noise i'm like oh no i'm gonna have to pull everything out oh no but i was afraid of it but i never did it so i just kept pressing buttons and i could tell like something was really wrong like the machine i kept saying oh maybe it'll finish maybe it'll be able to drain the water out but it's like hitting the inside of the machine and so I finally, I finally got the courage. I got a waterproof bucket and I took everything out and I put only part of it back in. It turned on and it washed because the problem was there was too much in there. So if we can deal with stuff, we have to spend less time being afraid of it. So. I don't know. I'm thinking a lot about today's sermon at church. I'm doing this after church because it's the only time that I look decent. I tell you trying to to do things without having a car you don't always you can't always stay all perfect looking because you're not in a nice car that's keeping your hair all all together so 
And on this channel, I'm just going to be talking about random things or what I think are random things. They probably all have a common thing because I'm thinking about it. But so the interesting thing that that I find um, the pastor is doing a series on judges. And it just struck me that the Israelites, see, in the, the ancient peoples back then, each people had their own God that they worshipped. And they each had their own kind of image thing that they worshipped. And I think that's pretty been historically proven um but the israelites worship god and god gave him his name which which was i am and the one thing was that they weren't supposed to make an image and they weren't supposed to worship other gods. And God did all these miracles for them in the desert. But when they got to the promised land, they started worshiping all the gods of the other peoples around them. Even though First of all, it wasn't the custom for for people to switch gods of another peop to another people. And God's power was with them. And I believe that that just the power of God is really evident and it's it's there and so they didn't they forgot about all of that and they started thinking that they were going to worship these gods of these other peoples because these other peoples, as, as my pastor was saying, they might have seemed like the, the cool people to them because they had were technologically advanced and they were prosperous, the Canaanites who land they invaded. So they wanted to borrow their, their gods too. And it was just so wrong. And you can find out if you read Judges. So I'm just, you really have to, to hear the sermon to, or read judges to figure it out, like, like, understand what I'm talking about, but the main, the main, the main point is just that there's, God's power is really evident and it's you can say okay I don't care about God and God will give you what you want God so these these people said okay we're not going to worship God we're going to worship these weird other gods but 
these these we these other gods the the way they had some the these other peoples where when they worship god their these other gods they had some horrible things they did they they sacrificed their children to them they were just horrible dark things they weren't like something innocent it wasn't like switching just switching your 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 um i don't know like moving to a different country and adopting their culture i mean it was really something bad and because of that just you know you're sacrificing your children like that's not going to lead you to a good place so they really got into some bad places and of course these gods they served were just images they couldn't they didn't have power to help them so god's like okay you can you can do that like he, he doesn't God doesn't want us to do that, but if we choose something that's not from him, he just lets us go. And, and so they were taken over by these other peoples. They, the Israelites had captured these other people's lands because God helped them, but then these other peoples took them over again. And... Then they cried out to God for help, and God sent these judges to deliver them. And the judges are sort of like, sort of like um, a foreshadowing of Jesus, or like, like a, a prophecy or something. And the whole the whole idea of prophesying pro prophecy is it a little bit confusing but if you, you read the bible you you can understand more what it's about so i really really have been thinking a lot about this and wanting to to share it with you because i think these ideas in the bible are really interesting and they're really relevant to us if we can understand them in a way if we can understand them because if you don't understand if you read them a certain way, you're not going to, you say, oh, that, that was just some, a uh, story. Um, that's, that's not going to help you a lot. But the big idea is that, so this was Israel. This was a period in history. They were contouring lands. That's just what God wanted them to do. But for us now, we have to, conquer the territory of our heart like christians today were not called to to possess some kind of land or anything physical in particular but god sent his deliverer jesus to to deliver us from from the enemy attacking our hearts we're we're called to let jesus conquer our heart and just give it over to him and let the the territory in our heart be his so and you might ask why well if it's not his my my heart it's 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 not mine like 
like you can't keep it like you you fall in love or, or you you like something a lot and that takes part of your your heart and and a lot of us just uh, a lot of times if you don't have God in your heart and in part the emptiness can can it can just be filled with fear or bad things but when you get when Jesus conquers your heart when you allow him to do that first of all your heart is full you're not going to feel empty and it won't be full of fear it won't be full of all the the bad things all the so that's sort of what I wanted to say. I, I, want to keep fighting the, the, the battle to have my heart be conquered. Like the Israelites were supposed to conquer this land. And sometimes they did and sometimes they didn't. And we're supposed to conquer our hearts. So that's what I wanted to say. So I don't want to make this video too long. So take care.